Ever since I started flying, I have always wanted to fly a tail dragger. The true test of stick and rudder flying. If you can fly this, you can fly anything. This is the legendary Super Cub. An honest to goodness airplane. The controls are simple and there's nothing automated. Modern aircraft have been designed to practically eliminate adverse yaw, making flying easier. This plane is from the golden age of aviation, when the pilot really needed to be one with his plane. So after 15 years of flying tricycle gear aircraft, I'm finally doing it. The tail dragger checkout. As with most pilots, I have a healthy dose of respect mixed with a little fear toward tail draggers. I flew gliders back when I started, so I'm pretty on top of my rudder technique. But I know this plane will test me. But I'm ready, and I'm stoked. Hey, bro. Wow, that thing wants to fly, eh? That's why they call it super. Awesome. Alright, so now we'll bring the power back to 2400 RPM. Just start a nice climbing right hand turn. Body right hand turn. The ball in the center. This is the hardest spot to keep the ball centered is in a climbing right hand turn. So, add a rudder as required. Yep. So I'm kind of anchoring my hand on my thigh, is that? Yeah, just rest your forearm on your right thigh. Yeah. Just hang on to the stick lightly. Nice and light on the feet. Pretty soon you're gonna find that you're just gonna fly this thing intuitively. You're gonna set the throttle by ear and you're going to be able to feel when it's ready to fly, when it's going too slow. Yeah, well I definitely felt that takeoff. I didn't need to look down. No. Yeah, this is closer to flying a glider. The Cessna panel feels like it's here. Yep. I like this is more window. Fox Gear Oscar is turning final runway 09 for the grass. Yeah, it's full flaps. All right, so now just land the airplane. Just land the airplane. Now lots of feet, less hands, more feet. Am I too high? No, you're good. Okay, so now I'm just looking ahead and I'm going to fly the airplane. Yeah, get that energy in there, bring the power back. Each time you chop the power, lower the nose a bit more. Beautiful. Oh, textbook. Okay, full back pressure. All right. Oh, yes, sir. had enough for one day? Yeah, that was awesome. Good. Thanks, Steve. That was great. Yeah, thanks, Dennis. Awesome flight, man. All right, now i got to figure out how to get out of this thing. <laughs> there it goes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whew. That was flight number one for the tail dragger. Uh, I'm definitely in for at least five more hours of duel, I figure. I'm not in any hurry to solo in this thing. I want to make sure I'm rock solid because yeah, it's this is a very smooth day and it's still like it was work to keep this thing lined up. Definitely working the feet. So that was a fun video. I couldn't resist throwing it together as a fun montage like that, but uh, obviously that was heavily edited. Uh, I shot the crap out of that flight, so I have lots of amazing footage and I'm going to make some pretty cool geeky technical videos dealing with all things tail dragger and I've still got a bunch more training flights to do. This is actually the first time I've shot GoPros while training, so it's a lot of fun to be able to review. Anyway, Dennis is awesome. I also want to thank James for coming out and shooting on the ground, and cooking in the hot sun. And as usual, my disclaimer, I'm a private pilot I'm making these videos for self-analysis. Not an instructor, but I'm happy to share. So for more virtual flying ride-along videos like this, please subscribe. I'm doing my best to put up a video about once a week. And uh, keep on keeping your flight chops sharp, guys.